All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Um, so we are rapidly approaching having nothing left to do. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, let me see. Do we have... Oh, do we... No, we... Do we not have the far off sea? No, we do have the far off sea. Okay, and I have been there. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, all right. All right, so... I have not edited. Okay, so we're gonna do Buried Relic here today. I went through it on stream. Um, I went through it on stream. I may as well do it here. Um, I said I was going to grind after last, uh, after my last recording. Um, that did not happen. <laughs> um, but do not worry. It, uh, probably will happen. So, um... I also, I'm sure that somebody is going to say, hey, um, hey, I, I know you said you were expecting Regigigas for Buried Relic. I guess I'll just say it, uh, that Regigigas is not at Buried Relic. Um, and if you want to see, <laughs> if you want to see what is at Buried Relic, then you'll have to freaking wait. Um, but yeah, so my, uh, yeah, so... I also did go in here completely gung-ho. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't think... Does it just auto-miss? I should use Brick Break, I don't know why. I don't think Brick Break does is effective against counter. I could be wrong. <sighs> but yeah. Um, I don't know. I would say like, oh, it's time to talk about final thoughts on the game, but nah. It's also really, um, I don't know. It is really something. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Um, there's a thing of, like, I don't know. I, I, well, I don't know. I could do Chekka Conroy-style bonus videos. Because there is some stuff that just, like, is not a, like, a determined thing I can see. Right? Um, so. Um. For instance, and also, what move did I just lose? Roll out? Okay, that's unacceptable. <laughs> um... Yeah. What was I gonna say? Yeah, there's some stuff that is just... I'm never going to... I'm not gonna see it. Um... I'm not gonna see it un unless I do a bunch of grinding. Um... Namely, there is a legendary, there is a shiny legendary you can get um, in this game only, uh, because it is a reference, a, well, I mean, you know, actually, I don't know, that's, that's, it's supposed to be, or thought to be a reference to uh, the Explorers series, or the Explorers uh games, the, the next Mystery Dungeon, the next Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games. Um, and yeah. Um, uh, sorry. Um, but the only way you get that is, um, by going to a mystery house, and it's just a rare chance at any- I don't know if it's any- I don't know if it's every mystery house, or only specific ones, but... It's, you know, it's a rare chance, regardless, and like, I haven't found a Riolu yet. Um, now granted, I think I've been going a bunch of places, not all of them have Riolu available as an option to get in mystery house- In mystery houses. 
so, you know, fair is fair, but it's a thing that, uh, tis a thing. Um, I'll also say that I did see, I gotta check actually, maybe I could do that. <laughs> maybe I, well, no, I guess I can't really do that while playing. Um, I think I mentioned, I mentioned a few videos ago, and I only looked it up because I was editing it. <laughs> Um, yeah, um, Grumpig, uh, Grumpig, me being closer to Grumpig, I think, uh, Grumpig, ironically, it actually has higher base totals, um, than Sandslash, Sandslash is 450, and, um, uh, Grumpig is 470, um, and I think, I think Grumpig is a little bit more special oriented, but not, um, I think it also is more defense oriented. I don't know what the speed is now that I think about it. Um, you know, color me interested though. Color me curious. Um, what else? What else? Oh, I will say that, um, so Starfield's Galactic Guide is it's coming back baby yeah sorry um it, it's coming back it's coming back um i have there are videos that i have recorded that are not currently uploaded as of the time of recording um as of the time of recording i I haven't uploaded anything since the first hiatus, which was uh, after episode 170, after I uploaded 100, uh, 170. Um, I can tell you right now, if you're curious, um, that <laughs> um, the last videos I did, I died at like the end of the system. I, I died at the end of the system, um, and I didn't have like auto. S I, I didn't have any auto saves on because the game is yelling at me that I don't have space for auto saves. Um, I have since changed stuff over, so now auto saves are on, um, <laughs> and I've also downloaded some mods. I've also found where the. Uh, I've also found out where. Um, the uh, saves are, and I need to look at it again because I think I like deleted a bunch of a bunch of saves. I was like, huh, that's interesting. I don't even think I had any saves, or I think I deleted a bunch in game. Um, and maybe they just don't update like while the game's running, which is fair, but kind of what I would expect to happen. But also, um. It's probably like in my recycling bin and I haven't cleared them out and um, so I'm still getting the hey you don't have space for saves or you're running low on space for saves which actually um, and this is a thing I okay I have Starfield on my S drive which is my specific it's an SSD um, or it's an M2 drive specifically meant for <laughs> games. Um, why the hell are you putting, like, why the hell do you, Bethesda Games and a bunch of other game developers, why do you put other files, other requirements on, like, like default it to something on my C drive? Why? I... <laughs> I have this drive specifically for games. Like, should it not just be in the same directory? I, I'm sure there's some reason. Um, but it also just, like, it might be easier. It might be simpler and more reliable. Like, I mean, could you imagine, like, buying a game and then it's like, could not install. Um, because, uh, could not install, um, like, directory not found or something. Um, 
that'd be annoying as hell. But, um... <laughs> I don't know. I'm not... I don't know. It's also a thing of, like, I'm not particularly... I don't think of myself as particularly tech-savvy, but, um... I'm, I can work through several problems. Oh, are we... Oh, are we fighting you again? Wait, do I have to rec Did I not recruit the Reggies? Well, if we didn't recruit the Reggies... Oh, I didn't get a Sharound one, did I? No, I didn't. Oh, well. I guess it's time for me to drink some protein! <laughs> Stomp? Hmm. Oh, I guess I didn't recruit them. Oh. Could you imagine if I just recruited several others? If I just recruited several Regirocks? Anyway. Actually making pretty good time. This isn't a particularly difficult dungeon, so it's not gonna be too crazy, but yeah. And I do want to go through... I do want to at least try to go through every dungeon, which I think... I don't know. <laughs> Means that I have maybe a couple of weeks to get through stuff. Um, and I do want to get, like, full rank and everything, so... Which is going to be a very important part of this whole thing. Getting through Joy's Tower and Purity Forest. Hold up. Pick up. Ooh. Quick seed. Decoy seed. Pick up at least one. Uh, and just in case I've derped, let's leave behind... Oh yeah, we have a bunch of... Yeah. And I will be speeding up. Alright, very nice. Um... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. I want to say something about Starfield. I actually have been having real bad luck with Starfield that, uh... Uh, I don't know. It's, it's just not been very... The FPS has been greatly impacted, and I don't know why. Could be an, it could probably be a number of things. I don't know. It could be for one thing that my freaking that the freaking save data is being stored <laughs> on my C drive instead of my, um, uh, you know, SSD, which is still insane. <laughs> um. I don't know, I also, I have a bunch of, um, this actually was really silly, um, one of these days, one of these days we'll get a, we'll recruit a powerful enemy, maybe even a shiny, we'll see. Oh, you know, um, yeah, actually, I was, uh, sorry, so Starfield, uh, that reminded me of another thing, but yeah. Starfield, I, 
have a bunch of ship mods I was trying to go through. Um, I don't know what it is, but there is a mod that has gotten rid of... Um, that has just straight up gotten rid of the Deimos wings that were on the Will-O-Wisp, my main ship. And the those wings were like... Those had always been a part of the ship's design. So like, it's... It was slightly, uh, it was slightly sad to see it like, oh well, okay, I could try and figure this out, or I could try something else, and I tried something else, which was, um, like the, there's another trim piece that, um, there's another trim piece that has, um, is normally, like, can only be used on the top, but the mod, the same mod that fucked up the wings um uh it basically rotate stuff and i think basically they just like they didn't correctly set up the original rotation so some of them are broken unfortunately but honestly the way that it's set up now looks kind of i think just looks better honestly um which of course means that when that mod inevitably inevitably breaks is going to be a problem. But eh. I was I was having a very it was it was very sad though. I was uh, very uninspired <laughs> trying to come up with some ships, but um, I don't know. I think at some point um, I will come back and do some more, uh, survival-esque thing. Um. Or something. I'll do something else with Starfield, I think. Um, and I think it'll be fun. I will say, though... Um. Oh, what will I say? <sighs> oh, I don't even know. Oh, I will say that the, um, additionally with Starfield, one of the mods was the upgraded melee uh, crafting, or melee customization. So in the base game for Starfield, um, there is weapon customization. But um, in the base game, there was no customization for melee weapons, and they also did not have tiers, so there was no advanced... There was no refined, calibrated, refined, advanced, superior. There was none of that. None of that existed for melee weapons. And it was a thing of like... It was a thing in my mind. Apparently they've changed it, and I don't know exactly how, but... Um, yeah, there was no, like... There was absolutely zero goddamn reason to use melee weapons. Because they just kind of sucked. Um, and, yeah, it was just, and it was just sad. Um, uh, but apparently they fixed it. But it's, like, one of those things, right, where, like, a game developer should, needs to be, like, they don't need to say everything that they're doing. They don't need to go into the hows and whys. Like, I, I like Star Citizen, I love Star Citizen because it does that. But Starfield, um, like, if, there's a lot of things that I think I would have given Starfield a lot less, me and, like, everybody critical of Starfield probably would have been less negative, <laughs> um, if they had said, hey, um, it's a release it now, finish it later situation, we have some things in the works, but they're not going to be for the initial release of the game. Like, if they had just said that, if they had just been freaking honest, <laughs> and maybe some of these things weren't in the plans, in all fairness, um, apparently, allegedly, like, vehicles were never going to be a thing, but I, I cannot believe that.
And actually, I don't know. I could be misremembering that. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's the that's the main thing. Um, also, uh, I'm recording this on Wednesday before I stream, uh, Zenla Zone Zero, and I got Zhu Yuan, um, very, like, ah, dude, it's like, I've been waiting, I have had such tremendously terrible luck, uh, like, maybe not tremendously terrible, but, like, Let's see, who have I pulled? I guess I have pulled a few of the S ranks or whatever, right? I got- I have Kaleida, I've got Soldier 11. I've got Kaleida, I've got Soldier 11, I've got... Um... Sokaku. But the thing with Sokaku is, I got her before... I didn't, like, at- there's some point where, um, in the Shiyu defense, which is just a thing you don't- it doesn't take energy, um, it's just a thing you do. Um, and maybe not Shiyu Defense, but one of the Hollow Zero activities, um, you just automatically get, uh, you just straight up get Sokaku for free. Which, to, to grant it, like, you know, basically I pulled Sokaku early, so I got to play with her and, um, you know, like, build her up, and she's, like, one of my mains. So, you know, that's something, but it's just like, eh. Actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, we don't need you. Sorry. Yeah. So I guess at this point, this is going to be the point where I speed up, so, you know, enjoy. I guess I may as well commentate with the boss battle. Or maybe a little bit after. I don't know. We'll see. Also trying to think. So I was... I don't know. It was an interesting thing. Looking up all of the Pokemon. <laughs> to, um... Looking up all of the Pokemon that are, uh... What their stat totals are. Because obviously Grumpig made me think, like... I don't know. I, I can't remember. I remember there was, like, one... There was some threshold... Where it's kind of like a lot of Pokemon that get used in uh, OU um, are uh, well, a lot of Pokemon that are in the UU category underused. Um, is uh, a lot of those are like under a certain amount, but I can't remember how much. I think I want to I want to say 500, but I'm not sure. It might have been like 550 or something. Um, Cause, uh, yeah, um, cause Lucario, like, some of my other favorites, Lucario, Ampharos, um, and Zoro or Zoroark, Hisui and Zoroark, yeah, um, they're, uh, they're definitely not... I don't know why I'm... I don't know why I need that, but whatever. Um, yeah, they're definitely not a... So it's a little sad, I know. I'm, I'm like, oh dang, some of my favorite Pokemon are particularly strong. I mean, they're... I mean, it's, 
a nice thing, I guess. It's just a shame that, like, I don't know, that my, that Sand Slash is, uh, in that sort of underused category, I guess, I don't know. I, I do find, like, I don't know, I like the idea of, um, I don't know, I like sort of, uh, I guess I do like a sort of grunt, uh, um, Um, sort of low-level, sort of, uh, mook aesthetic, I guess. Not necessarily, maybe not mook aesthetic. Um, but sort of vibe with, like, yeah, they're, yeah, these dudes are underpowered, but, like, give them a chance and, uh, you'd be surprised how far they can go. Um, and, you know... So, um, and I guess, I guess they kind of fit into that. I feel like Lucario... I feel like Lucario, um, is very much... Like... Yeah, I feel like, uh, um... <laughs> sorry. I feel like Lucario would be, like, the German Shepherd of, uh... Of this, of, of Pokemon. Like... Aside from the fact that they are blue, <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just the sort of vibe, and not even like the aura sensing that would obviously be very helpful for, you know, crime fighting. But it just feels like, uh, I don't know, they feel like they're really, they're very popular. Like they would be very, like a very common sight. I'm- I'm not gonna complain about a Big Apple. And I'm gonna take this citrus berry. Um... Yeah, kinda crazy, huh? That... You have three boss battles, and we do want to get to the bottom floor. I can't remember what was on there. I think... I don't know. I almost... I almost want to say that there's, like, some things on certain floors that you have to interact with, but I think that was... Don't use. Sorry, dude. I want to say... That... That was more of a, um, that that was more of a Mystery Dungeon Explorers, an Explorers thing, specifically in, like, one of the special episodes. Which I will say, uh, there was one video I had which, I don't know why, I don't know, it just, like, didn't flow well, so I cut out a thing. Um, and I had mentioned that I was interested in playing Pokemon Fusion. Um... And I just want to get, I just want to make sure, I just want to make sure that that is said in the series, that, like, that is something I would be interested in doing. Um. But, yeah. And I also have not thought about any more characters with fusions or any sorts of things. There's a lot of stuff that I, also, by the way, hey. The only thing I don't like about this auto mode is that it doesn't, like, you just pass over items and it's like, um, I guess, I guess you should be able to figure out, um, you should be able to be like, oh, um, this is a thing, I should probably do something with this, um, uh, if you see an item that you like, but I don't know. Do I have any... Didn't Earth Power... Didn't this, like, destroy Earth Power's PP? Yeah. Yeah. I freaking love this. 
Just absolute screen nuke. Earth power is probably like... You know, it's also a thing I was thinking about recently. Um, Pokemon gyms. Now I get... I get it that they, they want to do the... They have their whole thing, right? They have their whole thing. They're always type-based. Why can't we have, like, different kinds of Pokemon gyms? I don't, like, having monotype gyms in the main series, yeah, that's fine. Um, but I think, like, having a, you know, like a counter team or a sweeper team or a team that's built around a very specific mechanic, um, yeah, I think that could be, I think that could just as much be, uh, just as much be good. Or even, like, a team that's, maybe it's just a gym that's based off of, um, not something mechanical like that at all, but just, this is the Pokemon, this is a, the gym leader, and they use the Pokemon that are in the local area. Um, or maybe it's, um, you know, like... I want to say, like, I don't know, it's a circus-themed gym, so it's got circus-themed Pokémon. I guess we do have a few circus-themed Pokémon, now that I think about it. Or ones that would fit in that aesthetic. Hmm. I don't know. So how... I'm at 35 minutes on the recording, which is, I think, remarkably good for what this is. But, yeah, I... Uh, the only... well... Uh, th there's only one other thing I can think to talk about right now, but I guess perhaps, uh, mayhaps, I could save that for, um, after the dungeon or when we get further in the, in the dungeon, so, uh, I will see you then. I don't speed through this. I guess we'll see. I wouldn't be surprised if there was something special that happens on basement floor 49. On floor 49. Oh, okay. I was thinking it might be the Pokemon we're still after. Also, yeah, I've just been saving the, like, Big Apple and Perfect Apple for, like, and I really need it, which I don't right now. I, I don't, yeah, I definitely don't have a Grand Bull. So, yeah, we we'll quash. Okay. I'm sorry, what is this? Because... Oh... Uh, yeah, let's swap this out for something. Swap it out for an efficient band. Donna. Yeah. Yeah, but we still have 50 more floors, so... You know. You know how it goes.
Okay, for one thing, I'm really hoping I have my headphones around my neck playing One Winged Angel. Um, and you know what? Empowerment Seed, I don't need it, but I want it. So, yeah, um, I don't know, not much to say about all the goings-on. I don't know, this, uh, the Buried Relic is not too bad. Buried Relic is also a really good place to get apples, which is odd. I, I kind of think is, I'm kind of thinking of this, like, maybe aesthetically as some sort of, like, ancient civilization, overgrown, origin forest, Garden of Eden, etc. thing or something. Um... The thing isn't aren't the Reggies supposed to have some like be like sort of some sort of guardian of nature or something? Also, empowerment seed did not last me long. I do not care about the Pokemon. I apologize. I can't even remember what it was. <laughs> but yes, Hitmonchan sucks. I don't know if Hitmonchan's regularly suck that much or if it's just if it's it's just this one, but this one is being called Hitmonchump immediately. Um, it went through, what, six Reviver Seeds, and then I think it did actually go through more, at, at least at one point. Um, uh, but six? It went through six on one floor. Literally all of my Reviver Seeds, and I only revived it, um, because it's the first Hitmonchan I've recruited, or at least kept. So... It's super effective, it's super effective, it's super effective. Okay, alright. Aaron. Oh my god. Yeah. Hell oh yeah, Aaron. You know, it's like, I mean, I'm pretty sure <laughs> that the pun there is supposed to just be a combination of ant. No! 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 Damn it, Hitmon. God damn it, Hitmon Chump. <laughs> Fuck you. No, we're we're scouring the entire fucking floor until we find a goddamn either we find a revive all orb or we don't. Cause we're not letting that little guy we're not leaving that little guy behind. Look, I would use- look, I'm tired. I'm like, yeah, I, I need to rest. I need to just get- I need to work rests- like, naps into my- into my schedule more. Um, but listen. 
Aaron in that in those like five seconds actually made me impressed. Actually impressed upon me that they might be a worthwhile um adventurer. Whereas Hitmonchan, the motherfucker <laughs> that used six reviver seeds. Okay, two tiny reviver seeds, six reviver seeds, I guess. Um that Aaron I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Okay. And this is also the sad. The big sad. Because I don't need any of these treasures. I was under the impression. Yo, Flygon, if you want to do me a solid. Do I not have. Oh, okay. I thought I had like a. I thought I had a thing, but oh well. And yeah, we're just. What is this? Randbo? And swap this out with something. We don't need all those Petra Berries. I was under the impression. That I was going to get. That I was like. That I was like gonna get Mew. And I don't know if it's maybe after this floor, which would be. which would make some semblance of sense, I guess. Be really sad <laughs> if I derped on something and I have to do it again. But if that's the case, then eh. It might be like an item and I actually have to bring it with me. Oh wow. Well. Shit. <laughs> and you know, I mean like, it's understandable that the Pokemon, you know, didn't make it through. Some of them didn't, you know, had to use a Reviver Seed, it's fine, but goddamn. I guess my problem is that I also like over prepare. Alright, Hitmonjan. Yes, I want to give you a name. Oh, I can only. Okay. Hitmon chump, but I can't fit the full thing, so you're just not gonna have. But it could also go be for Hitmon chimp. We'll, they, we'll work with it. Yeah. Hitmon chump. Such a chump, he can't even. <laughs> His nickname's not even a full nickname. The next morning. Okay, um, let me look this up. <laughs> okay. He has a rare encounter in Buried Relic. You can only spawn on the following floors. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 98. He was not guaranteed to be recruited. It follows the same recruitment rules. Spawn randomly in a monster house from a trap with the initial enemy set or any of the... You will only spawn once per floor if you see him and don't get him, then you have to move on. Uh, to add to the above, Mew can, uh, Mew can spawn multiple times in the same dungeon run on different floors. Mew cannot spawn if you're doing online rescues, don't waste your time looking for it if you're doing rescues in Buried Relic. Uh, you need to own Final Island or Mew won't be able to join you. Um, if you don't have Final Island... Uh, unless you find Wigglytuff Orb and can buy it before uh, the 99th floor. Unlike the original game, you do not get offered a chance to escape the dungeon upon successful recruitment. Still don't know the exact chance of him spawning. Um, shit. Okay. Well, I, I went through... I recruited most of the dudes on stream. Or on... on, on in this recording, so...
it's a little unfortunate that uh, Mew isn't like just a guaranteed thing, but that's I guess understandable. Unfortunate as all hell, but whatever. Um, but we did get the Reggies, so at least that isn't. At least today wasn't like a total waste of time. But uh, also, there was no guarantee, right? So, and because I went in without that knowledge, um, there was no way I was gonna get that. Holy shit, though. Buried Relic is a really great place for apples. I might unironically want to do that grind more and more. Well, obviously there's still more I need to do. Um, I am all... I am tired. I need to rest. The only... the thing I was gonna mention... Um... Should you say anything while we're in here? Wow. Damn. Thanks for rubbing it in, Steve. Um, yeah, I made a... So I have Kvass, which is... Or I've, I'm currently have some Kvass brewing. Well, not brewing, actually. I can't, Brewing? I guess brewing. It's not fermenting. It's the, the steeping process right now. Um, but, you know, and that's just, like, basically a very low alcohol content, alcoholic beverage fermented beverage with rye bread and other things. I accidentally put like an entire thing of sage in. <laughs> um, but I also have a thing of um, I'm so so I've got the bread juice, but I've also got some potato juice and rice juice going. So um, and the, the potato juice I want to see because I think and I could be wrong. Alcohol might only might literally be like yeast and sugar. But I, I want to say there's something about starches that it needs. And, um, just flat out making alcohol, or er, alcoholic water seems funny. So, I don't know. Um, yeah. So, there's still more to do. Um, Mew and any Pokemon that's up to random chance. Um, like, we'll see. I might do a bonus video, maybe? Like, maybe a bonus video that I can just throw up at the end of another Let's Play that ends on a Thursday and I need one extra video um, for the week. I don't know, that could be a thing. But yeah, until next time, have a good day, great day even. Chowskies.